Yes, I have the privilege of introducing a middle school student, Madison Frank, and we some of our teachers uh, have written some comments about her that I will read uh, from Ms. Johnson. I've seen so much growth in Madison over the last year. She's become a kind, caring, and thoughtful individual who acts to help those who need her help, uh, who is kind to those who need kindness, and who is generous in spirit and friendship. From Ms. Larson, uh, when there are new students, she greets and welcomes them into a part of our small school community, which gives new students a sense of belonging. She's thoughtful, helpful, and such a remarkable human being. From Mr. Davis, uh, she's a hard worker, friendly to all her classmates, even friendly to her little brother. <laughs> uh, advocates for herself, respectful, caring, and kind. Uh, from Mr. Brummett, uh, I've had the privilege of having Madison as my TA for the last two years. She is far and away the best TA I've ever had. Madison aspires to become a special education teacher when she is older. She has shown patience, compassion, leadership, creativity, and heart for students with disabilities. Madison has helped teach writing to the class, has created lesson plans, and has helped evolve the Ferrari's Middle School news. Maddie has become part of our classroom culture, and we all love having her be a part of it. Congratulations on your award. It is well deserved. So congratulations. Thank you. Take the uh, certificate, and Miss Smith will take your picture with it here. And then we'll have you leave us in the Pledge of Allegiance. They all have to be Oh, can you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States. And y'all don't have to stay. Okay. Take one of those. Yeah. Well, there's still one. <laughs> All right. Uh, we did have one person sign up for she on. We have one person for a public comment. Yeah, we can check to see if you're on there. That's not and Nancy like Willard. I don't see her on. I know she wrote a letter also that was in the word a while back or something. Or yeah, but that wasn't what she submitted to speak on. So, right. So, skip on, I guess. We're moving on. Purple uh, minutes. Chance to look at the Minutes from last month, September. I did. Yes, I make a motion to approve the minutes from October 17th. <laughs> I'll second. They're from, from October 17th. Okay. Um, all right, we have a motion to second. Any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 And nothing carries by the way. I think that. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Sorry, exactly. Yes, sir. Yeah, we moved on. So I uh, will go ahead and um, you uh, have signed up to speak, and um, you'll get your three minutes. Even though we don't have anyone afterwards, we're still going to get three minutes. You're going to keep that consistent. So uh, there will be, a, I believe, a timer. Okay. And, and do you know I have a real hard time speaking straight? Well, I know you're going to be very good. Here we go. Um, I've been having the greatest time. Um, so you ready? Yes. All right, go. <laughs> go, go. Okay, been having the greatest time with your special ed kids, with my donkeys, and that's one picture. And then if you happen to miss it, I have my donkeys at the library, and I'm going to be doing this on a monthly basis of read to a donkey or a goat or a duck. Anyway, 
Um, and um, I just wanted to say a couple things about the recent controversy on the HPF book. And I was worried that there would be people here just because of the challenges that were on the network. And, and I am going to be better prepared thanks to um, Gary's excellent response to the newspaper article um, or, or the, the media, the news story. I will also be better prepared. You have a very excellent process in this district for filing complaints and uh, parents can have their children uh, removed. And I, I just want to come and give you support just in case any of these folks have come towards you. I don't know if you know that the objections came, as best I can track down, came from an organization called Moms for Liberty, which is a really right, very right-wing organization. Um, and that's where it came from. Um, and I did bring something. Um, I know just from working with other teachers that the person who was probably most traumatized by this experience is the, the very wise teacher who was teaching from this book because I have friends who were subject to this and there's the fear that your name's gonna get out there and you're gonna start um, receiving threatening messages and stuff like that. And I did look, ask some people about her, found out she is warm, loving, friendly, does a phenomenal job in, in teaching children these concepts in a way that she's not preaching to them, she's letting them learn and she's just a really excellent teacher. So Gary, if you would, um, chocolate, I know that she was Hello. traumatized. Yeah, so, well, it's Mr. Hart. Oh, the gentleman Mr. Hart. Okay. I will deliver it to him. Oh, sure. okay. Well, that's weird because I wanted to. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I also brought. He, oh, I'm sure he'll be um, I figure he's a little bit of a. This is June, but my best. <laughs> She's very sweet. You're talking about it. Thank you. All right. Thank you for your Thank you. 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 Intentions, right? Yeah. Here's a guy that tried to run away. Right. We'll move on to our enrollment report. Thank you for being in person. It's been a while. Thanks for having me. Let's hear why she is in person. What we know is that our the lady that runs this shop, Miss Smith. Uh, will be in Mexico in our next board meeting. So oh, Ms. Kwana nice. is making sure she can get trained up on the video. Yeah, run the operation here. All right. Uh, next month will be completely chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> Just expect it. <laughs> From the no dial be in us. Pretty much. Might not get in. <laughs> Our, yeah, this is as of November 1st. We are up three from our overall budgeted numbers. Um, as far as elementary level goes, we are up 16. The middle school, we are up four. And the high school, we are down 17. Um, our numbers compared to last year, we are up 20 still compared to the same time last year. I good they don't take into consideration the attendance the last few days. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. 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 Because uh, this is actually a little lower some of these than last month. But yeah, the attendance is getting tight really bad right now. So. Um, yeah, that's all I got on that. I have the financial report too. Go for it.
right? And this is as of October 31st, we received 30% of our operating revenue. Uh, this month, we will start receiving our large property tax payments. So this is when the revenue starts increasing quite a bit. Um, the, I was gonna mention that um, the estimation for next year for what we'll receive for property taxes is coming up due January 3rd, along with our projected enrollment numbers. So Gary and I will be working on that over the next month, kind of trying to figure out where we might be next year for those items. As far as expenditures go, we've spent 20%, um, which is level with where we usually are for this time of year. Um, I have not um, entered the transfers yet because the audit is still not done. They're, I'm in touch with them. Um, they're, they're very, very behind. Um, and it's just, it's like Oregon wide. Um, all districts are experiencing huge delays this year. Um, so hopefully um, by next month's report, I can input those on there. But that is all I have, unless anyone, you guys have any questions. All right. We do need board action on the financial report. I make a motion to approve the finance report. I'll second. You have a motion second. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Motion carries by zero. And next up is our budget calendar. We need to we had our first reading. Um, this is the second. Right. We'll get it approved and on your calendar. Any questions or anything that we missed after the first reading? No, I move that we approve. The fiscal year 23 24 budget calendar as proposed. Seconded. All right, we have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Very excited to zero. Superintendent's report. Superintendent's report. I don't have a lot. Um, let's see, first thing I want to mention is your votes. Throughout the course of the year, and then we put Mr. Marshall in charge of. We use a few of our uh, Esther dollars to do a little trinket or something each month to all staff members. Uh, last month, I think it was holiday socks. Right? Is that oh, it happens. Oh, is it happens oh, next month? Oh, oh, this month it was coffee mugs. Um, and so we included the board uh, in our coffee mug distribution. Uh, I wanted to follow up on EC Cares that continue to move, move forward. Had a meeting last week around the connecting of fiber to our uh, system, making some final decisions around whether their fire alarm is going to be connected to ours, but we're still on track uh, December, January for that project to start, be open in the fall. Remember, EC Cares is pre-K, ages three through five, free preschool for students that have been identified typically by their physician with some type of delay or disability. Um, currently, they have one classroom at the middle school, not only will just get them on an elementary campus around other elementary kids, uh, but we'll give them an opportunity, opportunity to expand as well have two works. So moving forward there, uh, the first day, I think I did, I know I did a post last week um, on the dental clinic. First day that they're scheduled to open is next Wednesday, the 30th. Um, they're starting out with a day and a half of the week, all day Wednesday, half day on Friday. Depending on demand, they have the ability to grow to do every day, all day. So we'll see how that goes. I don't think that's what positive things uh, oh, yeah. social media about our kids do. I, mean, it's just, yeah. I see lots of people using them as a primary care now and then recommending them. And so it's been. Yeah, I think sometimes big, we big get lucky. Yeah, we got lucky with that one. It's worked out well. Um, and I'm super, they've helped the district in numerous ways. Uh, yeah. it's for our flu shot clinics, uh, yeah. um, engaging students that uh, visit mental health specialists there, so wide range of stuff. So that big help. Um, and then just a reminder it'll be in my weekly update to the board this week, which 
it'll be a Wednesday because it's a short week that I could really use someone from the board to be a part of uh, OSCA bargaining, uh, which will begin probably March ish, maybe a little earlier, February. That's one that I can. I can. Yeah, Mark cannot be the person he says he has uh, a spouse in the group. So um, get back to me if you are willing and available or have questions. And that's all I got, unless you have any questions for me. Um, next up is discussion items, and there's a proposed resolution from OSDA Legislative um, Committee for the priorities and principles that are recommended by them. And so we, just that legislative committee is made up from uh, board members from around the state. I think each uh, region or each county has at least one, I think the Gallup State one, or day is our representative in the county. And so they meet and come up with legislative priorities that will obviously help students and school districts. So, they're asking for us to take board action on this resolution, and I'm not going to read the whole thing. <laughs> think you all can read. So, is there any questions on that, or do you move back up? To the other? I guess the bottom part that is what you can read right there. I just make a motion to approve the action. What is what is the what is the resolution? <laughs> If you if you go down a couple, there you go. Yeah, you know, preamble. Uh, basically, it just says that we want to continue to keep the funding that we have keep the funding that we have. We want to not get any more mandates, and we want to uh, recognize that local school boards they have more knowledge about their students than um the state department of education at, at times <laughs> once the motion happens tonight one way or the other then i have to go on and make a note of that tomorrow the really don't get up eight minutes through well, december 10th Have no, just go to the top and just say it is that you you make a motion to approve the OSC legislative priority and principles. I'll make a motion to approve the OSBA legislative priorities and principles as recommended by the policy committee. I will second that. Motion second. Any other discussions? <laughs> All those in favor? Say aye. 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 All right. So the next thing is the pro collective. So yeah, we'll bring in Mr. Smith, our athletic director. I'll summarize here. A month or two ago, you approved a co-op with Crow. As we expected, when it was going to be on the edge, the USA denied that co-op uh, because uh, they combined, you know, when we were in 4A, we could co-op with anybody who wouldn't get bumped up to 5A. Well, now that we're in 3A, we co-op with Crow, they add their numbers to ours, that puts us outside and puts us up to 4A, so they can't do that. Um, so there is an opportunity, there is a, a second way to do this, it's called a collective. The difference there is that in a collective, um, in a co-op, again, which was denied, their kids come over and our wrestling team is now called the Elmira Crow Wrestling Team. In a collective, their kids come over, they're Crow kids. When they go to a meet, they compete as Crow. Um, they're just uh, using our facilities, our coach, our equipment, our transportation, et cetera. Um, it's a way to provide an opportunity for kids. Um, and we'll, I've never done one of these before. I'm sure some challenges will come up on one the, Mr. Smith and I have already talked about is the district meet. If we occur the same weekend, they won't be in the same spot. Their district meet will be somewhere else and we might have some coach conflict. Um, regardless, uh, I'm willing to give it a try for a year. Uh, Joel, are you on here? Can you hear us? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? 
Yep. Anything you want to add? Um, yeah, no, just working with Kevin. One of the things with the co-op, the OSA rejected it in July and never communicated back. So they were a little behind the ball this year, um, trying to make arrangements. It seems like a way to get kids to do it. Um, Coach Peeler feels good about his ability to kind of manage both. And by both, I mean just the flow between the two. Uh, and then as far as the coach for the um, district meet, Kevin is certified and he will go with them for that meet. If a conflict arises, they will be paying are uh, the same participation fee as our homeschool students and the other students who are not um, eligible for free athletic participation. So they'll be paying 150 per wrestler. I think it's four kids. Um, from my conversations with uh, Eric at Churchill, who's co or collective a couple different times, he said it was, uh, you know, it was worth trying. So I've got an open mind. If we can get kids to play, I I'm open for your support as well. And I told Kevin it's a year-to-year -year basis. Obviously, our circumstances changed um, when we've dropped down to 3A, and so uh, we'll have to look at it going forward. If we can get through this year, then we'll make some adjustments and see if it's something we want to continue further down the road. All right, thanks. Any questions? No, I think it's positive. I mean, yeah. we, do. Yeah. we don't want kids not participating in athletics. Right. <laughs> yeah, there's an avenue for that to happen. Exactly. So, work. Yeah. so we do tend to be hard work to approve that. I make a motion to approve the Crow Collective Wrestling Act as presented. <laughs> So a motion to second. Uh, any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thanks, Joel. Thank you. Um, and our next meeting is a softball co-op, so we're going to try it go out with Nathan. That's already right. denied. Yeah, I want you guys know the history here. Typically, yeah. we get asked. I go to the coach. Coach is in support of it. Uh, I think they have one softball player. A softball player in particular, I think, also played with us last year. This is to approve a co op with Mapleton and our cell phone. And they deny it. And they want, yeah, we kind of already run the numbers. They're smaller. Um, and Mapleton should work. Good. Yeah, it's about 25 ADM we can co op with. Anything over that, we have to collective. All right. And no. So it does require board action also. Make a motion that we approve the softball co-op that we put the school. I second it. So a motion and second. Any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries so zero. Um just an update on the convention a couple weeks ago now that uh, Andrew and I went to, the OSBA convention. Um, about 690 people attended, I think, is what was there. The super, our board members and superintendents up in, up in uh, Portland. And um, we had a real nice host. It's Friday night for dinner with Jar Wells. He took Andrew and I out to a very um, nice. Um, very good. Yeah, that's good. Um, but there were great classes. There's that. All three keynotes uh, were very good. Um, there were a lot of good breakout classes and things that, um, you know, just different aspects of operating on the board that um, it's really good stuff. And it was nice to, um, you know, to see other people from around the state and that they're, the things that they are, the things that we're doing and dealing with is the same stuff that they're doing, but, you know, here in Umatilda, Ontario, wherever. Um, it was good. Uh, I thought it was too. I I actually could not believe how good it felt to be there in person. Yeah, I was I used to wear a mask and I had I You were the only one. Yeah, I wasn't the only one. <laughs> but just it was so nice. And you know, I realized that we we all have the same goal and, and there was so much civility there. Even though the the decision about governor had not actually been made, we were all okay with each other. You know, from Lane County to you know from Overton to all of us, it was just 
we were there because we care about kids. And I just really, really found it very invigorating. Thank you guys for y'all. Yeah, that was great. That's, it was a great um, student uh, school. Wow. It was a great on the boat. One was from Silver Bank. I mean, I want to know. Jim Green talked a little bit about the kind of little things that they talked about the why. Why do we do this as board member? You know, and he was a board member of Salem for a while. And this was one of his whys was because he was able to hand his son a diploma, you know, when he graduated from high school. And, and now his grandkids are the why, you know, so he's going to eat up one at school. But um, so why, why do we do this for the, for the district? So I thought that was a good presentation. All right. Um, next is we need to uh, adjust the meeting calendar. Uh, there's a couple of conflicts, and that so we're going to have to move a Monday to a Tuesday, I believe, wasn't it? That in April? Um, no, we just don't I'll move yeah. it to Monday, move it to the second Monday instead of the third Monday. Monday. Um, one of the things is that we need to, um, one of the things is uh, Gary's contract. It, it, it needs to be approved at a certain time. And so the the deadline is before our April meeting. So April 15th, of yeah. our meeting would have been the 17th. Yeah. And then in full disclosure, I will also say it just so happened to be that a large group of folks here at the district office happened to buy tickets to see Journey on Monday, the April 17th. So we're using this contract thing to get us back. I'm not saying which is more important, but what does it be that transparent? I know. <laughs> but I, I I can't I cannot tell a lie. So. Well, I wasn't telling a lie. <laughs> Mine was I just wasn't telling the whole truth. <laughs> so it'll help with two on two fronts. So your approval will uh, it helps a little bit, or it isn't as disruptive because in March it's already moved up to the second Monday because we have that March 15th deadline for teachers anyway. So right. it's gonna be four weeks separating. Right. So we do need board action to um, amend or adjust the calendar for the, the uh, board meeting calendar. I move that we approve the adjusted calendar. I second that. Oh. <laughs> we have a motion to second. Uh, any other discussion? All right, all those favor say aye. 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 Uh, we have second reading for uh, some proposed policies um, that have to do with superintendent and contracts. Something that we haven't had before. So when you see them all in red like that, that it's a new policy for us. And it's not that the old one was bad, we just replaced the whole thing. It's just a new policy that OSBA put, put out. And we replaced the whole thing, and there's yeah. all, all the old lined out. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions on those policies? This is the second reading, so we do need to board action to approve those policies. I move that we approve both the superintendent and superintendent's contract policies as written. I second the motion. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries five zero. And we have an AR updates and first reading for a proposed policy update. So Michelle, I I didn't the there. One towards the bottom that is an IEP. Oh, they are special education and down towards the bottom of it in the red. I, I didn't remember my notes, so. Um, 
Keep going. There, let's see. Uh, no, not COVID. Here, there, in five. Do you see if a student is deaf, deaf blind? Is that actually a term? That's the um, verbiage that OSDA gave us. Okay, okay. I just want. I just wasn't sure if that was a typo. Oh, or it was. I can definitely double check and make sure there wasn't a typo on the yeah. other side. That's how it came to us, but I can check on that. Okay, that's. I agree. I've never heard the term either. Deaf blind. Yeah. But well, wow, bonus points for Miss Larson for reading the fine print of all the politics. It's only three of reading, too. That's pretty good. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I hear, too, that ARs, which is quite good for everyone to hear. Most ARs only come up one time. It's so it's, they don't, most of them don't require board action. They're just board information. So they'll fall off of the next agenda, and only the policies can go up for board action. So. It was a good catch. We can fix it if it's well, because it won't be a thing in December. It's nice to be like in the year the opportunity to speak. So I'm here as a request by office, by company, that I should be at every board meeting I can make. Thank you for the good things. You know, yeah. they have smelled wonderful when I come in here. I don't know who you are. I'm sorry, Charles. Bill of the Charles. He's our food service. Okay. I'm sorry that we can't give you any, you know, in conflict at this meeting, but maybe next time. You know, we'll work on that. <laughs> at, the, at the dinner, we were talking about that the board always agrees on everything. We need some conflict. No. Come over to my office at any point during the day. I'll point you. <laughs> Right, personnel, we do have, um, I believe, just one resignation. Is that right? Uh, yeah, teacher that at the end of the year has decided uh, to resign. And so that will require forward action. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. So if you want to pull that out. I would, I would move that we approve the resignation of uh, the. Especially a teacher at Kern Ridge Middle School at the end of the year. Second. All right, we have a motion to second. Any other discussion? Hearing none. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries five zero. All right, we do have quite a few uh, like non licensed and hiring and resignation that do not require board action, just information only. There's a they're interviewing custodians this week, I believe, or tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. I see Hall is gonna be missed. And she'll be so all it says she's affected, you know, she's retiring December 31st. First, we're hiring her, she's staying on until the end of the year. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um any late or closing items? The only thing I'd mentioned, just and it's on your calendar here, two kind of bigger events happening uh, in two Thursdays in a row, December 1st, the tree lighting in Benita. You've never been to that. Choir singing, Sal will be there, et cetera. Then the next Thursday is the light parade. There are will potentially be a couple schools that will be closed. Mm -hmm. We'll have a more practical event that happened. Probably, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> At least maybe it won't rain. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no rain. That's all I have. Cold and rain. Yeah. 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 Well, I, I only have one thing. Uh, uh, Andrew and I talked a little bit about it while we were up at the uh, conference. It's something I've been thinking about for quite a while. But um, I got it's uh, increasing our board to seven per people, I guess, is what we're going to do with uh, with two representatives of student, student council representatives. Yes. So um, there's other districts that do that. I got this. I got the uh, uh, policy, uh, standard policy from Lowell, and so uh, Gary and I and uh, Mr. Um, Garner and Michelle met this morning, and 
Um, she's going to put together what we've talked about, and it'll be right over first reading next month. And so they'll be for next year. So they'll um, be elected by the student body, and they will sit at our board table with us. And um, there won't be voting members. And there will be a part of all discussions. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, yeah. And then potentially they'll have a they'll get a uh, well the plan is that that they, they're expected to be there are a bunch of expectations but to be at every meeting and um and then at the end of the year they'd be seniors and so they get each get a five hundred dollar scholarship for, for for doing participating on the board for four cool. years or one year just one, one year so they would years. become on as a junior no they they'll get voted in as when they're this, yeah. this year. A junior. A junior. Okay, so they're senior year. They're senior year. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, I just as a board, uh, or a VA meeting, um, I went to a presentation from Portland Public Schools, and um, they were talking about how um, they have one student um, board member, but they, they, were they were very proud of the fact that there there were four um, policies that they uh, were able to students were able to bring forward and you know, they could they could really learn the process and um, I just I I came away pretty excited. That yeah. I told her I didn't have to think about it. Yeah. But, but I think that I think that having two is better because that way they're not just one kind of out of one voice that's a couple of right. Voices. Well, yeah. we'll have to take this session more. Yeah. When we have a discussion, I guess. Well, excuse me. Besides that, is there any other? Oh, All right. Well, everyone have a great holiday weekend and we're adjourned.